We're in Warbra here in the Pyrenees Shire. It is a very big farming community around here. Everyone gets behind everyone. Everyone's very friendly around here. It's just amazing that it's been 10 years since the wind turbines have been functioning out at Warbra. You know, there was quite a bit of resistance when they first come in. But I think as time's gone on, it's really seen as favourable now. Before the turbines came in, I guess like everyone, uh, when something new is coming into your district or it's going to impact in your land, that you need to do some research. And that's exactly what my husband did to find out what was going to be the impact on our health or hearing. Really wanted to make sure that these things that we were going to be putting on our property for at least 25 years was something that we could, we could actually live with. The wind farm itself covers around about 170 square kilometres. We have 128 wind turbines at site with an installed capacity of 192 megawatts. There's enough electricity to power about 110,000 average size homes, which is basically Ballarat and all the Bendigo combined. The most important about Exxon as opposed to a lot of other wind farms is that you've got local people to talk to and there's local people that actually run the wind farm. Cameron is the wind farm manager and I think that having a local to deal with it, and if you've got a complaint or something, then they come out and talk to you. And I think that's the stuff that's won the hearts and minds over time. So the Warbur Community Benefit Fund, as part of Axiona operating and owning the wind farm here, some of the bigger projects have been uh, the redevelopment of the CFA fire shed and also the community hub with what it is now in conjunction with local and state funding as well. We're invested in the community, we become fabric in the community in that sense. Axiona have been a really strong supporter of the football club. So what it's meant for Warbury in terms of facilities, we've got stuff that we would get, but instead of getting it in 15 years, we're getting it in six and seven, and we're actually getting it a bit quicker. And we're bringing a lot of people. They're not a big corporate who's come in and dropped something in our community and left. Our kitchen garden program started here six years ago. The kids get the whole experience. It's a whole experience of knowing how to grow your own food and to know how to prepare it to eat it. Low food miles, it's organic, it's seasonal and it's local. We've got about 70 community volunteers that assist us in running this kitchen and garden program. Everything here is internally financed, so to get that outside support from Axiona has been really powerful. The turbines themselves, through the process, through the building of them, and uh, Axiona themselves have been really good. I've been going out doing a lot of community engagement there at different community meetings, basically just to inform people on uh, my views of them there. The best thing to do if, you're, if you've got any reservations is actually come and visit the wind farms like this, talk to the people who've already had them there, get up and get close and personal with one and have a good look at one. It's helped drought proof our farm as in you've got another income from the turbines which is, can help upgrade farming machinery and things that you might have been putting off. We really need to for future generations to be investing in renewable energy. It's part of how we live now and renewables should just be in our everyday. I think there's much bigger regional benefit to something like this. We see the local benefit here pretty directly. It's pleasing to see that the relationship that Axiona has with their local community could be described as nothing more than fantastic. This is an example of renewable energy in a local, regional context. This is where renewable energy will be built. It will give jobs to regional Australians. This Warbur project was a pioneer for renewable energy in our region. It's fantastic that Axiona continue to invest in the community and demonstrate that it is committed to the long term. We've had a great previous 10 years. We've got another 15 years of permit life left. So we're here for the long term. It is 15 and beyond. So I really just see our relationship with our landowners, our community people and our community benefit fund really just flourishing and growing more and more from what it is now.